Pride is what you say in your heart and later reflected in your conduct, character, behavior, and attitudes. Attitudes are always reflected but never spoken. And when your attitude stinks, nobody wants to know about your service. Excellent service is just a, a mere reflection of a positive attitude. Our God rewards motives. Motives are a reflection of attitudes. If you don't work on your attitude, you will miss your blessing. Have you heard a saying by preachers that attitude determines altitude? So it is your attitude that gives ascendancy to your spiritual gift. And it is your attitude that gives descendancy to your spiritual gift. Men and women are attracted to an attitude. Your beauty may present you before greatness. As a woman, your beauty at a distance can attract a man. But it is your attitude that keeps the man. Your attitude is reflected through your service. Somebody can come on the pulpit to preach or teach. But in the process of his teaching, when his attitude overrides him, people reject the message are you listening to me people feel they refuse to connect with the message because of the attitude your attitude is reflected in your communication the tone what causes people to resent your communication it is the attitude that actually finds its expression through your tone that causes somebody else to reject what you're saying normally I tell couples you could be so right yet so wrong at the top of your voice so wrong with your tone so leaders you could be so right in what you're presenting to your fellow leader Yet so wrong at the top of your voice by reason of your tone.